we'll go through some simple examples in this short video to make things more concrete. Let's take about some different sample spaces. For example, if the experiment is picking a random playing card, the sample space for the suit is the set containing hearts, spades, clubs and diamonds. The sample space for rolling two dice is this 6x6 grid. Hopefully it's obvious that this lists all the possible outcomes we can get and that there are 36 different possibilities. The set of possible outcomes from tossing three coins is given here. When we talk about the binomial distribution, we'll see much more of this sort of thing. Let's look at the case where rolling two dice. To define our probability function, we simply count the number of elements in the subset that defines the event and divide by the number of possible outcomes, which is here equal to 36. I'll leave it as an exercise for you to check that this is an acceptable probability function. Now we can ask questions like, what is the probability of getting a pair? One way to answer this is to just look at the sample space and count. There are six pairs in 36 possibilities, so the probability of a pair is one in six. We can ask slightly more complex questions like, what is the probability of getting at least one six? By simple counting, we can see that the answer is 11 over 36. It's also nice though to calculate this using our formulas. What we want is the probability that the first dice is six or that the second die is six. I'll leave it for you to work out the respective probabilities and show that we get the same answer as by simple counting.